Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'd like to welcome you to my corner of the internet. I love all things indoor plants and I have a lot of them. So today I thought I would give you a tour of the largest plants in my home. I started my plant collection in January of 2021 and I bought most of these plants. I think actually all of the plants that I'm about to show you today, I bought them all from my local plant shop and they were all really small. So maybe to you, they may not be large plants or maybe you've seen even bigger plants on other channels. But for me, these plants have come a long way from where they started and I, I thought I could share that with you. If I have clips of some of the plants and how they looked when I got them, I will try to find them and include them in the video so that you can see where they started compared to where they are right now. So if you love plant tours and you want to see my big house plants, just stay tuned and keep on watching. This is Priya. I call it Priya. It's my bird of paradise. It's pretty tall, almost about to ready to touch the ceiling. When I got this plant, it was very, very little. It's very, very small and it's come a very long way. As you can see, although the bird of paradise loves light but it can easily get sunburned so the leaves are still quite sensitive to the sun i know in some areas some people can grow theirs outside but mine likes just the right amount of light and that has always been a battle between us trying to get the perfect amount of light for it here we have some slits in the leaves I believe this happens because of lack of humidity. Sometimes the new growth, I don't have any hair right now to show you as an example, but sometimes the new growth that comes out can be a bit dry. And sometimes uh, I just take my wet fingertips and put some water on it just to help it to be able to loosen as it, as it grows. But if you, there's not enough humidity, when the plant tries to open up, it will begin to rip and then you'll get these slits. It doesn't bother me because as you can probably tell, I'm not looking for perfect plants. I just want healthy plants. And it's between this south facing window and this west facing window. So I feel like it gets enough light. It's healthy and it's doing well. The next plant on our tour today is this ficus elastica or rubber tree. I got this in one big planter with eight plants in it from the plant shop and it wasn't very tall. It was probably just about this big when I got it. And I decided to divide it and put four in one pot and four in another pot. You'll get to see that other pot soon. This elastica lives next to my south facing window and this is where it spends most of its time. As you can see, it's getting really tall and I'm going to have to propagate it soon or cut it back soon. The one con of that is when I do this, it will start to branch out and my husband's not a big fan of my plants branching out because at night when he's walking from the bed to the bathroom, he walks right into plants. So I will have to figure that out. This has four plants in it. It's really happy. I fertilize this plant most times, like with almost every single watering. And if you look in my shorts, you'll see a repotting video where I took this plant out of a smaller pot and put it into a bigger one. It wasn't root bound, but because this plant has become so tall, it's a tree now pretty much, I needed to put it in a pot that can handle the height of the tree. I have never cut this, which is interesting, but I noticed that it's starting to push out some, some new growth or some branches from the nodes. This has been like that for a few months now, so it's really taking its cool time. But again, I don't mind that at all. So on the other side of my bed is another ficus elastica. So there's one on each side. So it's in a similar pot. It's in a similar green pot. And it also has four plants. This one, the, the plants are a bit bigger. The babies are a bit, the smaller plants are bigger than the other one but it's leaning significantly. This one was actually originally on my husband's side, and so it did not get rotated as much. The other one was on my side at first, and I'd, I'd always keep rotating it with my husband. He doesn't have time to be rotating my plants. So this one sort of grew, <laughs> trying to reach for the light. So I put it on my side of the bed, and now I'm constantly rotating it, trying to realign it. I did put some twine to help to straighten it off, but 
it has gotten a bit slack now so later today i'm going to have to straighten it up also has four plants in it and yeah it's happy in this corner by the south facing window and i water it about once a week and um, yeah it's not as tall as my other one but i don't mind i just like the look it gives my room welcome to one of the darkest corners of my home one of the few plants who can live here is the snake plant and i put it in this corner because i'm confident that it could survive here it's been sitting living here in this corner for about a year now if you look in the mirror these are north facing windows even if these windows are here the plant is way too far away from these windows to benefit from the light coming from this at all what i've done is i've installed grow lights up here so at night or whenever the sun goes down or when the house gets a little bit dark i turn these on and i think this plant benefits from it it's healthy so far i haven't lost any leaves and i really just water it every once in a while sometimes every three weeks or so you can see here where i've cut it and i've began propagating it successfully if you look at my low light video you will see some cuttings of this that i've given to my mom and she has been able to successfully propagate and make many new plants for herself she's even been able to gift them to other people so yes this is my beloved snake plant yes we are outside in the summertime i actually like putting some of my house plants outside to get a little extra sunlight and to help it to grow a bit faster so right here i have another fiddle leaf fig and as you can see i have not been keeping up with its waterings since it's been outside again since it's getting much more sunlight out here uh, i need to be watering it more regularly so you can see that and it also has been rubbing up against the wall and so that really irritated the leaves a bit but yeah so just to give you an idea this is how tall this plant is it's not my fastest growing fiddle leaf fig. You would think that all fiddle leaf figs grow exactly the same, but apparently this one is not as fast growing as the one in inside my living room. It could be because of the amount of light it's getting. It could be my watering schedule. Um, but actually I asked my local plant shop that about it, the one that I bought it from, and I was told that they come from different growers. They so uh, when they purchase the plants, they get them from different growers and some of them basically are different like they're all fiddly figs yes but some grow at a different rate that's what i was told but this one grows a lot slower than the one in my living room but i don't mind because i'm running out of room for all of these plants so that's okay so i just brought this one outside just to add or spruce up this little corner of my entryway so i like the way it looks so let's go back inside And this is my monster. I mean, my monstera. The monstera is in fact one of my favorite plants. I think many of us feel this way. The leaves are just big, large and in charge. And it's just so tropical looking. It makes me think of my home country. This monstera has come a long way. It has given me many plants. And in here, I think I have about three plants i just let it go up on the wall i recently refreshed its soil you can see my repotting video and if you're interested in finding out how i care for this monstera just let me know in the comments and i will post a video about it as you may know the more light a monstera gets the more fenestrations uh, which is holes and slits it will have this used to live in my bedroom um, just a little a couple feet back from a south facing window but since i put it here right next to this west facing window i started to get these these fenestrations and it has been a happier plant it is taller than me for now <laughs> until i get you know scissor happy oh, let's see how long we can keep it this big for but next on the list is one of my favorite plants in my collection and it's the ficus tineki or some people call it a ficus tiniki so if you notice this is a variegated plant the more light the plant gets the more of the cream color you'll see along the edges and that's i think one of my favorite parts of this plant my favorite things about it 
if you looked at my plant wall video i did show the showcase this on my plant wall video since then i've moved it to this corner of my dining room when i got this plant i'll see if i could uh find a picture of it but it was so tiny when i first got it it has grown really well uh we had you know a couple bumps in our relationship you know i missed a couple waterings i put it in a place where it didn't get as much light as it would have liked but overall it's a happy plant it's growing well and here we have the king of the castle my largest house plant by far and this is my fiddle leaf fig if you'd like information as to how i got the tr this tree to be this size i have a care video already posted on my channel this is huge it's massive it's sort of the statement piece in my dining area it's a lovely plant i love how big and demanding it is and i just love the way it makes my space look this branch is almost touching the ceiling, but I plan on propagating it. So I've begun the air layering process. And if you'd like to know how I did that, there's an air layering video already posted on my channel. So you can see how I started the process of air layering this plant or basically propagating it. I've done it this way before and had great success. And so I'm doing it again. I've had this tree since January of 2021. I've had it in different spots of my house, but I noticed that this spot right in front of a south facing window is where it's it's happiest and where it's grown its best for me. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this house plant tour, a tour of my biggest house plants. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if this is the kind of content that interests you, you may want to consider subscribing as well. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next time.